I am very, very excited for today's trip. I'm finally going to the northernmost station in the whole of Great Britain. That station is Thurso. This lies on the north coast of Scotland, which is on the far north line. So I'm excited to see some great views. Yeah, should be <laughs> nice, should be nice. So right now we are at uh, Bewley Station, which is, funnily enough, the shortest platform in the whole country at only 15 metres long. This is basically all of it. It's uh, quite tiny. So it's one direct train all the way to Thurso. Um, we're currently getting the 0715 to Wick from here, which is actually the first train of the day out of this station. Well, we're on, we've got a nice window seat and we're on here for... About four hours. Yeah, just, just, uh, just shy of four hours, I think. The next station up here is New Revord, which is a very weird one in the fact that the northbound trains run on the right and the south on the left. It's a right-hand running station. This is very unusual. So this is our first of our many endeavours we'll be having with our Spirit of Scotland rover we've got. We've both got one. And, um, I mean, by the time this video goes out, You'll have already seen the leave video, like we'll have already done that. That's currently three days away as of when we're filming this. Um, but this is the first one, in reality-wise, that we're doing. We've stopped a bit far down, I can't really show it, but Conan Bridge reopened in 2013, also quite small, much like Bewley. So it's Dingwall right now. We uh, this is the furthest we got because uh, yesterday when we arrived, we visited a few of the stations down here. It was Bewley, Muirvord, Conanbridge, and Dingwall. Yeah, we got all the way to here. So uh, after this, it's going to be uh, track. yeah, uncharted territory. <laughs> Look at these views, man. It's gonna only be getting better from here, I think. We're just getting started. A great thing, though, that I'm not gonna to have to worry about while we're uh, going down this line is the fact that there are absolutely zero tunnels through the whole route. Fun fact. Now, what is that ship over there? It looks very interesting, and I'm quite intrigued. Now, another thing we've tried to do, or like made sure we've done, is the fact that we've sat on the right hand side of the train Just because so we can hopefully get some of the few like coastal views on the line I, I don't know in terms of mountainous views which side they're on I'm sure they'll, both probably, they'll probably be both I'd like, imagine but it'll be but uh, hopefully we get some nice views on yeah. either side anyway isn't it whereabouts was it again the coastal views is it around like I guess, like I guess kind of here like Invergordon that's sort of very broader. All those sort of areas. I'm sure we'll, we'll find out as we make our way down. The announcer is being very loud. So it appears after uh, further consultation of the map that um, Invergordon's kind of better for views of the Cromarty Firth, but then you've also got, um, it's mainly the sort of like sea coastal views. There'll be things like um, between Gold Speed, like and Brora Helmsdale. and Helmsdale. Like that yeah. world coastal area. That sort of general area. out of uh, Fern and uh, yeah there was uh, another one of those stations where they need steps for you to actually be able to get up onto the train from the platform because the platform's so low but it seems like rather differently at Fern they've actually permanently got steps there which is which is great I mean I love I love things like I mean it's not great for things like accessibility and everything but it's cool just it's a nice little quirk that makes stations really quite unique so it seems to be um, the majority of the like signaling on this um, line is mainly done via like exchange of digital tokens um, for gaining access to parts where it's a single line um, you'll see often at any like stations where it's two tracks which are usually used for passing trains um, there'll be like little stop signs indicating to you know get tokens I mean they're digital tokens um, but allowing you to get access to the single line so it seems to be that's how they sort of you know, they manage where the trains are and, you know, which trains have access to single lines and all that sort of stuff. Views 
are getting proper good now. It's like the further up we get, it just gets so much nicer. Approaching Coleraine now, which is the first request stop along the line here. Quite a lot of them are request stops after here. Well, we went through Coleraine. Um, unfortunately, I was on the wrong side to actually show that, but yeah, we're on our way to Inverchin. Um, the views here, also, just... God, what a nice river. But yeah, Inverchin's one minute away on the timetable. They're very close. leg right now and this is where a crew switchover happens so this train behind me here has come from Wick and so they'll get the crew from this train which is coming up and then the crew from that train which is going down and they'll swap over here hopefully now that we've left uh, Goldsby it won't be too long until we get some nice sea views Yes, it's so good. We've definitely sat on the right side. Literally just this minute, it's turned 10.15, so we've been on here for three hours. We've got about 47 minutes left. So we left for Sonard, but Weirdly, the, the train still says we're calling it out the break. I mean, I looked at real-time trains and it says it stops for, you know, like, pathing or whatever. Um, it's an unadvertised stop, so I'm assuming what they do is they'll stop and not open the doors. That's my guess. This is a request stop. Please mind the gap when alighting from this train. Well, I uh, stand corrected. We didn't even really stop at out the break. We just whizzed by as if it didn't exist. But yeah, so uh, we've not really got much left now. Just. Scott's Calder, George Miss, and Thurza. And then we're there. One to go. It's like ten minutes now. <laughs> Home stretch. I think we're here. Just pulling into the platform now. Thank you very much. Well, we've made it. Here we are in Thurzo. It's Finally. Cold. It's oh. quite nippy, actually. But, I mean, it makes sense given how far north we are. <laughs> Interesting that the trains stop there rather than here where there's buffers. Oh well, whatever. So yeah, Thurzo, the northernmost station in the northernmost town in the whole of Britain. <laughs> Gosh, that's oh. quite a trek, wasn't it? God, very nice sights, but yeah, wow. My, my legs are hurting after sitting for so long. <laughs> this is going to be our first of two videos we filmed today. It's uh, <laughs> going to be an interesting time. We're going to meet somebody and then we're going to go ahead and get a couple more stations around here done. So, uh, yes, to be continued. <laughs> See you next time. Next time. Anyway. Nick Badley. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly that. But yeah, so hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Goodbye. And of course, a massive shout out to all of my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. And a warm welcome to my new Standard Premium members, Wes Rail and Paul Harper. Thank you very much for supporting the channel.